happy Monday day of music lovers. It is time for another venue interview for our new week. So uh, once again, I am Destiny Dawn, head of publicity for Day of Music Fullerton, and I hope that you enjoy this interview. Sorry about the condition of my voice. <laughs> uh, this video has a lot of advice for musicians and for venues, and uh, it talks about a lot of the benefits that you get from participating as a venue at Day of Music Fullerton. So enjoy. Hello, Kevin, and happy Monday. How are you today? Doing well, you? Doing very well, thank you. And thank you again for letting me come and interview you for Dave Music Fullerton and Absolutely. just to talk about your experience with Dave Music the last couple of years. First year, when you first heard about it, what motivated you to participate in the first place? I like the idea of it when it was pitched that it was uh, you know happening around the world simultaneously, and I thought it was a great idea for Fullerton and all of the you know diverse uh, art art we have here with music and and uh, poetry and art and stuff like that to have like that kind of a festival showcasing that. You've been in Fullerton at this location at Max Bloom's Cafe Noir. How long have you been It'll here? Be eight years this July. So. Oh wow, eight years already. Well congratulations and I know you promote the art and music and film and all kinds of different things all the time. You participate in art walks, you have movie nights and uh, how often do you do live music here and do open mic and that kind of thing? We do open mics every Wednesday and Thursday nights and then we do live music every Saturday night, two sets, five to seven and eight to 10. So there's two different shows every Saturday night and two open mics every night of the week, or, or every week. Anybody that's looking into participating with Dave Music Fullerton for the first time, what would your words of advice be? Would you encourage them to? What was, has your experience been like? I would say the first year was the formative year of like setting up. Last year, what I noticed is that a lot of people waited too long to try to get into venues and then they were scrambling like at the end. I had people approaching me like, you know, leading up to it, you know, I want to play on I was booked up almost immediately. So I would suggest if they want to be a part of it, don't wait on it. Get into the enrollment process and get, you know, your band out there and your uh, the, the venues you'd like to play yeah, at. Because it then, sounds like there's there's no shortage of talent mm -hmm. and musicians that no, are coming in. No, and there was some people that I was kind of torn between the first year and the second year. I didn't want to repeat all the people that I had the first year because I wanted to have other people have a chance. Although I liked a lot of people the first year, and they all wanted to play again. So I had to kind of strike a balance mm -hmm. between a couple of them can, but we need some new musicians as well. And then I, like I said, I had some coming to me like you know there's no way I can play, and I said only if there's a cancellation. Yeah, that would be my advice, is just make sure they get in the enrollment process as soon as it's available so they get better time slots that they would work for them or whatever and, and venues they might want to play at. Okay. You know, you're a little bit off the beaten path, like you're right in the heart of downtown, but just kind of in a funny corner. And did you notice at all any benefits of participating in day music? Were people more aware of your location and coming back and trying you out? for the first time and then repeatedly? Yes, the, the first year um, I got a lot of comments, I didn't even know you were back here, I didn't know you were here because we're like down the alley and around the corner. And then they started coming back when they found out what we did for open mic nights and I picked up those musicians that started returning. And then uh, the second year as well, that, that happened again where people you know came up to me and said, I didn't even know you were here. Now they've been coming to the shows on Saturday nights and there was one girl coming the other day, she says, I've been coming here ever since the first time, which was the day of music festival. So that just was just said to me within a week ago. Oh, that's awesome. And then they come back, she comes back to the shows on Saturdays that we, that we throw. So I definitely have seen a lot of exposure by um, participating in and having people uh, come here and find out about the place. Perfect. And then the bands, I'm sure, are more aware and they come in yeah. or they come in on a Saturday and you tell them about, about Day of Music and then right. they want to participate even more. That's great. Right. And it's kind of like, and I, especially when we're getting closer now, I'll, I'll start promoting it. Like, you know, like, yeah. They'll book shows, they'll do open mic with the book shows and I'll tell them, make sure you, you uh, want to participate, or if you want to participate, make sure you're involved in Day of Music because it's an all-day festival around town. You can play other venues and get seen by other people. Because mm -hmm. some of those bands that come here, which I love, but they bring their same crowd all the time, which is great, but it would be great for those bands that have new eyes and ears hear them that have not heard them before at another venue. Absolutely. And then they build up a following and everybody wins and gets something, you know, out of it. Okay, perfect. Well, Kevin, thank you again so much for the interview and for participating in oh, Day of absolutely. Music and for your third year running. You're one of our early veterans. <laughs> and uh, and that's it. Thank you so much for everything that you do in, in Fullerton. You're welcome. Thank you.